Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Steph and today is a really exciting one. I am going to be doing a collab with the beautiful Debbie of Vinyl Beauty. It will be our second collab and uh, really exciting. Um, we are going to be doing it a bit different this time. Last time we did a face-off collab, um, but this time we are using the, oh crikey, <laughs> LA Splash Classic Horror Palette. I haven't even taken mine out of the sleeve yet. Um, I, I love this artwork. And then when you take the palette out, she looks like this. <laughs> How beautiful is that artwork i have not even dipped my fingers into this yet and i've still got the sticky tape on there but this this is the color story we are working with um absolutely gorgeous let's take that film off because that is going to bug me and that's so satisfying um, I do apologise, I'm still in a lot of pain, so if I'm not quite myself, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm doing my best. Um, anyway, <laughs> back to the collab. So what we decided to do was just create a look, however, using whatever colours, um, and just see what the other chooses to do. So. I know I should not have done my base makeup first, considering the colours I'm intending to use. However, where I'm not well, my skin has broken out, my acne's gone mental, and it looks like a Halloween show all by itself. So I really didn't want to scare you guys, and uh, I didn't want to scare myself when I was editing either. Um, but what I am planning to do, let's, let's just not say what I'm planning to do because I never stick to the plan. So, first off, I think I am going to dip into the black here, which is called Lights Out and the black Ooh, not too bad i'm going to create just the shape that i want so i'm doing it with my eyes open so that i know that it is going to come above my crease the black i don't want to uh take too far above my crease um you will see why um debbie i think is my favorite person to collaborate with um partly because she is just such an amazing lady she's just so so kind so she's just lovely she loves to lift other people up and she's just a really really lovely person but also she is the one that gave me the kick up the backside to start my own channel this is a really really nice black i am not complaining at this at all yes very nice i think actually this might be the first time that you guys have seen me use a black on my channel i tend to opt for more colorful looks like the brighter colours 
but we're heading into Halloween which is one of my favourite times of year. I absolutely love Halloween. I was uh, planning on doing a really cool Halloween video like a uh, Harry Potter Slytherin inspired look and have, having my boa um, his name is Severus Snake so I was planning on having him as my special guest um, however he's so strong and at the moment where I'm not particularly strong myself um, he's a little bit too much for me to handle sadly <laughs> um, not for any other reason um, other than he's just so strong but never mind it was actually seeing this palette in Debbie's collection that made me want it so bad it is so just unique I think these tones are just really especially like this I don't know how well they translate on camera like these three especially just really really unique colors okay let's get a bit more black in there I am loving you could probably go in and uh, make this black extremely intense right off the bat but I wanted to uh, see <laughs> where we were going with it I am going to bring it down into the corner a little bit because I do want this to be a really kind of dark Halloweeny look. Yeah, <laughs> looking pretty mad at the moment, but don't we always? Um, so what brush do I want next? Um, so I think the next colour I'm going to go in with to blend out, there is a bit of fallout, it's not too bad. Um, I want to blend the black out with this purple here, which is called Voodoo. Um, I'm excited to see, exciting, excited <laughs> to see what Debbie does with this palette because uh, whilst we're both very colourful girls we are also both very different in uh, our preferences of colour and there goes the dog so this one I'm just using to um, kind of half and half going over the black with the purple just to uh, kind of create a bit of a kind of dark smoky transition These colours are so, so pigmented. I'm trying to leave just a bit of room there because I do want to blend out the purple with that green. I have been desperate to use that green ever since I opened this and had a look. I have been so good not to touch this palette is unreal because I have wanted to <laughs> but I wanted to share it with you guys especially as I think it's a very 
kind of a Halloweeny vibe. Obviously, it being classic horror, and in here you've got Doctor Jekyll and Hyde, uh, werewolf, mummy. I I love it. Absolutely love it. I don't think you could have asked for a more kind of Halloweeny themed palette, in my opinion. <laughs> Um, this screams Halloween to me. These colours are the bomb. I don't know how well they are translating on camera. They are blending into each other. I'm just, I'm loving the real kind of deep, dark, smoky effect I'm getting from these. Just making sure not to uh, take the colour up too high and uh, forget to leave room for essentially the colour I've been the most excited for. Well, I think that will do uh, for now. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying that blend so far. Ooh, knocking you everywhere. I'm really enjoying that blend so far. And next, I'm, I think Debbie is going to go in with the red. I think 100%. That's what I think. I, I am so sure Debbie is going to use that red. We'll see. I will find out when you guys find out. Um, so anyway, where was I? <laughs> um, I'm going in with Madness, which is this green here, um, to blend the edges again. Let's see what this beauty does. Oh, no, that's a colour. That's my kind of green. This is, as any of you that know me, know my channel, <laughs> um, will know, not your usual Steph look at all. However, I'm digging it. I am really, really digging it. Look at how they mesh together. That is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm not too fussed about leaving highlight, like brow highlight room, um, uh, because I don't think <laughs> this look is, I think where it's more of a kind of dark, grungy look, it doesn't really need it. I am so so happy with this so far, it's unreal. Just bring this down into here a little bit. Wow. I'm gonna have to try and bring that purple back in in a minute. And let's just do the other side first. 
I think I've kind of lost the purple a lot in my blending of the green. Hello, camera. Thank you, Annie. Happy downstairs. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I've gone back in and kind of re-intensified those colours a bit. So I think what I'm going to do is bring them down onto the lower lash line and just kind of mimic what we've done on the top so I've actually got no extra product on this brush it's just the, the black that I was using the brush I was using for the black <laughs> and then the purple I will grab just a little bit of that and then we'll just blend the edges of that black with the purple and then finally a bit of that green just to uh, keep it all cohesive bring that down This is definitely not my usual style, however, I am loving the Halloween -y vibe that I'm getting from these colours. Wow, I am loving those colours so far. Right. I think I'm going to go in with, because I need something on my lid, and it's this colour here, this yellow, it's called Toxic, and so this one I am just going to be placing, sorry, <laughs> So this one, I'm just going to be placing, ooh, okay, ooh, I wasn't sure if I was going to have to add the orange in there to get that to, to show up how I wanted, but I don't think so, I think this is doing exactly what I want. You might, I might put a bit of orange in there too. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. But yeah, I definitely think it needs a bit more. It definitely needs something more to it. So I'm going to go in with the Psycho, this orange here, and I'm just going to take that around the kind of edges of where I've put the, the yellow. Just to kind of smudge it in a bit. Crikey, this really 
shows up even over a black. I'm so impressed with these shadows. Debbie, I see what you mean. Completely. I'm just going to take the brush that I had the black on just to soften the edges a little bit between the, the orange and the black there. Well, okay. And now that is a completely different look to what I'm used to doing. So what I'm going to do is head off camera, finish my face, and then I will come back to show you the final look. And uh, yes, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. What do you think? my first Halloween look of the year and uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with it uh, dark yeah <laughs> I can't wait to see what Debbie has done um, like I said Debbie's so creative um, it's uh, it's bound to be something fantastic and I can't wait to see it um, let me know what you think in the comments below if you think I captured the uh, spirit of Halloween I'm hoping so um, what else I have popped on I just stuck on a bit of the barium that's how I roll mascara um, the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green in my waterline I just wanted to keep that kind of toxic green colour there a bit. Um, my lashes, wow, I have a new product here, it's from Artitude Cosmetics, UK indie brand, and it is a liner and lash adhesive in one. Just uh, like this, and you just pop it on, like uh, like you would any liquid eyeliner and stick on your lashes and it works and wow so for all of my friends out there who don't use false lashes because they struggle with the glue girls if you can use liquid eyeliner you can wear false eyelashes with this it's called catitude Catitude 2 in 1 liner and lash adhesive and uh, it was run by a really lovely lady called Rox and she is adorable just such a lovely person I do love to support um, indie brands um, and from my experience so far I have uh, I've completely fallen in love with this lady she is adorable and she is so focused on producing products that are fantastic and this is fantastic Rux well done girl I love it and the lashes are also from Artitude Cosmetics they come in this gorgeous little box like this and the lashes are inside and these are in the style Envy I just thought that they were the perfect pick for this look the lipstick I went in with was from Melt in the shade Tomboy I did however dab over a bit of a bit of toxic and madness um, just to give it that bit more of kind of that 
you know, toxic -y green look and I used light salt on my eyebrows um, because I felt that they just weren't dark enough, they weren't bold enough for this look. So, uh, so yeah, this, this is the final look. And uh, yeah, it from me for today. Hopefully, if I'm not feeling, um, <laughs> God, this costochondritis is getting me down. <laughs> um, I will upload as much as I can. Um, like I think I said in my previous video, sitting here for periods of time is really painful. Um, but I, I need some me time and it's so nice to feel like I've got you guys sat here with me. Um, I really enjoy it and this is the perfect therapy for when you're feeling crappy I think and collaborating with Debbie on this has just made it all the more exciting and I've really really enjoyed it and I'm blabbering on now so I'm gonna let you guys go and hopefully it will be very soon that I see you next. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new around here, I hope you will consider sticking around and subscribing. Um, if you've liked this, please give me a thumbs up, like the video. It really helps me out. Um, also it helps show me what you're enjoying. And uh, don't forget to hit, hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So until next time, take care of yourselves and hopefully I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.